So, Sonic Dream Team came out recently. I've heard it's pretty good, so I'll probably play it when it comes out on a device that isn't owned by the Forbidden Fruit. In spite of not being able to play it, I watched a full gameplay video of it, and yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. But I'm not here to talk about my grievances of being locked out of a really cool Sonic game due to my Windows computer and Android phone. I'm here to talk about something infinitely more pressing for every horny teenager out there. Rouge's voice. To be fair, Rouge has had the same voice actor for a few years now, but I didn't really notice how big of a problem it was until I watched a playthrough of Sonic Dream Team. Alright, let's listen to a clip of Rouge's voice from her debut game, Sonic Adventure 2. You just don't know when to give up, do you? What are you talking- Alright, you're hearing this, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it sounds pretty good, don't you? Well, you're right. She does sound really good. But it gets better. Let's listen to a clip from Sonic 06. <laughs> My precious chaos emerald. You are all so beautiful. <laughs> Jesus Christ, is it just me that's starting to get a chill in here? Chill from how cool her voice is. Shut up. The quality of her voice in Generations also rocks, but I won't get into her whole mission in the gameplay because, uh, I'd rather stay monetized. But she follows a trend of excellent Rouge voice as well. Then we get her voice in Forces, and... Omega, you've joined us? Awesome. Is there no end? What the fuck? No, no, run that back. Seriously, what the fuck? Why did she suddenly get so feminine? Even when I was a stupid 11-year-old, I knew that it was a pretty dog shit voice to give Rouge. But I looked past it because Forces itself has enough problems already. But six years later, Rouge is back again, and what do you know? Same VA, same shit voice. The worst part is, Rouge has had a better voice in a piece of Sonic media that is current. Her voice in Sonic Prime, while not perfect, is leagues better than what Karen is doing. And yes, her name is actually Karen. The thing about Rouge's voice is she's supposed to sound a little less on the feminine side. She's supposed to have a bit of a deeper tone to her voice with a very slight seductive tone to it. It adds to her sneakiness and her ability to use other people. But the way she's played in Dream Team and Forces undermines basically all of that. She sounds like a whiny, girly pop asshole. I don't even know what character they're trying to portray with her voice here. It's not really seductive or sneaky or anything. It just sounds like nails on a chalkboard to me. And I know that the other characters have had worse voices, Tails has been through the ringer when it comes to that, but in terms of actual voice quality, Sonic Team has been improving a lot, so what the fuck is this? Unfortunately, this actor is probably here to stay for quite a bit considering Sonic Team's history and contracting and stuff, so unless she does something really stupid to make her lose her job, I think we're stuck with her. Oh, shit. 